Chef Sean, the Bistro in uh, Valdosta, Georgia. Today I have Chef Marshall Buffet. He's going to be working on a barbecue sauce that we're running this weekend with a barbecued New York strip. Here we go. He's going to start off by adding some, uh, some onions and some garlic to a saucepan full of water. He's going to sweat those until they get nice and glossy. Start to bring the flavors out. And then he's going to go ahead and start adding in the rest of his ingredients. I'm going to start with some crushed red pepper flakes, some cayenne pepper. We like our barbecue sauce to have a little kick here. Now he's going to the chili powder and Spanish style paprika. And that's going to mix together well. It's going to start smoking those dry powders and it's going to really bring the flavor out in the barbecue sauce. After that, brown sugar and onion. He'll add that in a few minutes and get this. Yeah, see that? that's going to start dry smoking. And once it starts smoking, he can go ahead and add his brown sugar and his vinegar. And he's going to cook down this brown sugar until it melts. And then we're going to keep going from there. Man, that's starting to smell good already. Tight on time, Bob. Keep something. And you can see it's starting to smoke. That's exactly what we wanted to do. You can go ahead and add this brown sugar now. You're going to melt down that brown sugar. It's going to make a nice caramel. It's going to be the. Uh, it's going to be one of the thickening agents for the barbecue sauce. Grab your spoon. Yeah, that brown sugar is starting to melt down now. It's looking good. It's smelling good too. It's smelling real good. Go ahead and add this vinegar to it now, and it should start steaming up real good. Bring that heat back up, so. There we go. Yeah, that's looking good. Now he's going to go ahead and add ketchup. Ketchup. The whole thing. Oh yeah, that's looking real good. Boy, look at that. That's the consistency you want before you add your ketchup, just like that. Already that's smelling good. A nice dark color. You can go ahead and grab, I'll start this like grab your corn syrup. And we're gonna finish it off by adding in some corn syrup to help keep it thick and give it a nice barbecue sauce can, uh, texture. And then we're gonna season it off with a little bit of salt and pepper. About one third. And then we're going to 
add the salt and pepper. Don't, don't, do maybe about a little more than half of that. A little bit more. Yeah, that's good. And basically that's it, ladies and gentlemen. You mix that up real good, bring it to a boil, and then we're going to reduce the heat and let it simmer for about an hour and a half to two hours, and it's going to be great. Any closing comments? No. Okay. All right.